13 divided by 4. What will be the result? 13 divided by 4. If I translate this expression, then I, 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 I get this. 13 divided by 4 equal to what? So, so if I present this division, uh, then I have to in 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 the long form then I have to write this this 13 is a dividend I will write here and this 4 is a divisor I will write here and here we'll get quotient or quotient right okay so here is the standard method to present uh, a division usually long form of division log uh, here div divisor will divide dividend and we will get quotient sometimes we will get remainder if i look here is an important things you need to remember if i multiply this divisor times quotient and look if i divisor times quotient quotient and if i add remainder here remainder then i will get this dividend okay so look dividend means the it represents the amount being divided and divisor means it is the uh, one doing the dividing and caution means it represents the answer and remainder what do you mean by remainder remainder means it represent the units left over that can be evenly divided evenly divided into quotient however look at here so look what do you mean by divisor divisor means member of a group here member of a group will be four and what do you mean by quotient quotient means the number of group you can make right and each each group will have four member and dividend means the total member here total member is 13 right and what do you mean by this division actually division means the process of making group so division means process of making group divisor means member of a group and, and dividend is total member and quotient is number of group we can rewrite this dividend like this 13 13.0 that is the value of 13.0 13.00 13.000 is 13 after decimal point if i add e, if I add 0, that 0 doesn't contain any value actually. Look, so here we have 13 people and we, we have to make group. So we know that 4 times, we need multiplication time of 4. 4 times 1 equal to 4. Then 4 times 2, what will happen? So there is a trick. Look, 1. 2 4 times 1 4 4 times 2 what will happen just add 4 with this 4 then 8 so 4 times uh, 2 we are getting 8 then what will happen 4 times 3 just add 4 with this 8 12 right so 4 times 3 equal to 12 then take 4 4 times 4 that the tw then 12 plus 4 that gives us 12 plus 4 that gives us 16 so for 16 16 is greater than 13 so we'll we'll target this right so 4 goes into 13 three times and 3 times 4 that is 12 12 so i'll write here 12 and then subtract 3 minus 2 1 1 minus 1 0 so our remainder is 1 and our uh, quotient is 3 that is I can make 3 group and I will have 1 left so this 1 will come here 
remainder 1 3 remainder 1 the answer is 3 remainder 1 okay so let me visualize this thing so that you can have clear knowledge look here we have 13 people and we have to make group 4 at a time so 4 people then 8 people 12 1 so if i want to make group 4 taking 4 people at a time we can make one group we can make two group and we can make three group for making this three group we have used 4 plus for 12 and we have left one so we can completely make three group and we will have one left so this is the visualization right so here is the another way to represent this represent the result how to express the result in mixed number in this case you have to take this remainder as a numerator and this divisor as a denominator so the result in mixed number is this three and one fourth okay so now i will show you how to write the result in decimal number so let us open the calculator so 13 divided by 4 what will happen look 13 divided by 4 you are getting 3.25 okay how to get this result 3.25 look here remainder is 1 and this remainder is less than this divisor so we need here we'll take here a decimal point and this decimal point also come here so after decimal point i can take a zero right i can take a zero and i will bring down this zero beside one so look so four goes into tens four times one four four times two eight and four times three equal to twelve so this twelve is greater than this ten so four goes into ten two times two times four eight right eight so if i deduct then i am getting two 10 minus 8, 2. I am getting 2, right? Look, this 2 also less than this 4. So, I will take another 0 and I will bring down beside 2, right? So, we know that now 4 goes into 20 how many times? So, 4 times 3, 12. 4 times uh, 4 equal to 16 and 4 times 5 equal to 20 right so 4 goes into 25 times so let us write 5 5 times 4 20 so we are getting 0 here so 3.25 is the result right so if you want to express the result in decimal number then you have to write 3.2 5 look your calculator is saying like this i hope believe and expect that you have gotten the clear idea so thank you for viewing this video be well